Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm a solution architect here at Altman AI. Today I'm here to show our new MCP server functionality in Cursor. MCP server brings an array of tools that allows Cursor to leverage the context of your entire data stack. So let's get started. For today's demo, we'll be reviewing um, building documentation and tests using AI. So we have Jaffle Shop opened up here. As you can see, there's a customer's table here, but the model is not documented or tested. There's no do documentation or test for that model. So let's prompt over here. So what's happening right now is that the agent is now calling upon this MCP tool. And within the MCP tool, there's a, a bunch of different things that it can do. One is like getting the columns or the models, viewing those. And the next thing it's doing is also running some queries against the data itself. So now it's saying, I will update the schema file. And as you can see here on the left-hand side, it is now suggesting descriptions, uh, column level descriptions as well, some data types and testing, those kind of things as well. And it's now asking, do you want to review the change? I'll go ahead and review them, accept the file. <clears throat> Ask some follow-up questions, like is there anything else you want to expand upon or clarify? Um, one thing I did want to ask it actually next, as a follow-on to this, is can you create tests on customer models and validate them? So there's already some tests created. It's going to create more tests. Let's see what it brings. So first thing it's doing is actually going to, through the schema file again, seeing what tests already exist, um, and thinking through some use cases here. Cool. So it's suggesting some relationship tests between the customer and the orders object. Oh, what's happening here? Um, as well as it's also pulling in other packages like dbt expectations. Um, and so what it had to do with that is, it at the bottom as you can see, it's actually installing some more packaging. It's installing dbt expectations. And now it's running those tests. And it's, it prompts here saying that it installed, installed the package here. And now it's running the test of the model. <clears throat> it's saying there's some issues too. Um, so you can see there's a bunch of different tools being called install db packages here, run model tests, and now install dependencies. Let's see. So it's still going through, adding a few more tests. It removed a couple of tests as well along the way because I realized that that, that that test wasn't working out. And it's trying to simplify, simplify the test case again. So it's now running the test again. So it ran all these tests now. It has a set that it likes. It's getting some passing test results, some failing, failing ones. And it's now also saying that identifying there's actual um, rows within the table that where the issues are coming from. <clears throat> Interesting. So because it's it noticed that the uh, customer table might have some missing fields, it actually modified the description too of the table to, to account for any kind of changes. So as you can see here, it actually said for this first order field, it actually added a null statement here um, at, at the description. Cool. Um, so I can accept these changes. Um, you can review them all. As you always, whenever you're using um, AI agents to create documentation or test, you should always review as a human. Pretend that they're just another person um, writing code and you're doing a pull request or whatever. So. Um, yeah, that's document and test. Um, thanks for watching.